my greetings to one and all and special greeting to mr gajendra kothari so though you were visiting this campus 5 years back i would say kc campus because it's known as kc campus so you may be in nacha college or any other college but when you visit five visited last five years you were in our campus so uh, and and when you said this that your relationship with our board and with the hr college uh, was uh, from so many years i think that we board uh, uh, we belong to the same board so your relationship with kc college was as many years and now oh. that i would like to tell you mr gajendra that uh, kc college hr college and bombay teachers training college these three premier institutions of our hsnc board have become a university so today may i welcome you to hsnc university mumbai and kc college thank you <laughs> so, thank you so uh, much so so i welcome you uh, all and special welcome to dr mr gajendra kothari uh, esteemed members of kc college all the distinguished vice principals teachers of kc college who are here mr smajit padi justin sinha all teachers who are part of this webinar and all my dear dear students you may belong to kc college or may not belong to kc college it doesn't matter the objective is that we all move together move ahead and uh strengthen our finances because me being from chemistry field if i am today your classmate when i'm learning or listening from mr gajendra ji so to get all on behalf of kc college i extend a warm welcome to him and to each one of you to today's program uh if you if you ask me because i have been asked to throw light on this particular subject yes but i would like to tell you as uh, mr gajendra ji is a fan of uh, Uh, I mean, the book he written about uh, rich dad and poor dad is about Robert uh, Kiyosaki. I, I would like to quote it: that financial freedom is a mental, emotional, and educational process. I think this particular uh, statement of his is a masterpiece, and even his book, Rich Dad and Poor Dad, is a masterpiece. And how true it is to today's uh, uh, world of, I say, COVID era into trying social economic conditions. and the unpredictable economy uh, which we are witnessing in general it is so important and so very important to be financially free it is a process that should not only be learned but also diligently cultivated so together we are here in this journey and we want to understand that how uh, we have to learn abc of financial management from mr kothari and i would like to that what is my little knowledge about because i've been fan of uh, uh, even warren buffett and he always says that you know his quotes i really read and apply to different aspects of uh, management whether it is administration of kc college or as a researcher and i believe that uh, every word holds true in this journey that say it is easier to look back we always find very easy to look back and ponder over it and rework than looking ahead looking in the future and this particular aspect also holds true for businesses which we have so according to him never invest in a business you do not understand so better understand and then you can invest what is it is what i uh, understand that anything we are venturing into first understand the process and then venture out and i think kothari sir will agree with me if you are really wanting to save money or work hard for it or start a business or look into it first understand and then get into it so that then we have mr kothari with us and i will leave you with one thought that uh, buffet's uh, two rules of investment i think uh, mr kothari will even uh, light on it rule number 1 of warren buffet is never lose money so he talking about saving and understanding the finances the first rule goes never lose money uh, and number rule number 2 is never forget rule number 1 so i think this is what is also very important for mm -hmm. us to understand that any we have to be very very careful about the finances first of all earning comes later how much ever we how do we invest it rightly and then expand it i think much many more mantras you will receive from mr kothari today so uh, i would want uh, this platform to be handed over to mr kothari once again i in a warmest welcome to each one of you who are listening to this particular webinar i and i before i hand over let me congratulate department of commerce mrs majid padi uh, head of the department uh, department of accounts uh, mrs justin for putting such a fantastic webinar and reaching out to mr kothari uh, we never met in last 5 years but never mind we meet him now 
uh, we'll assure him, assure him and assure all of you there'll be many more sessions with him till we see to it that your finances are secure and you are growing to the next level. So till then, we will keep inviting him and we will keep learning from him. Mr. Kotari, warm, warm welcome to you on our behalf. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, 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 Dr. Bagla, for this wonderful introduction. And uh, I hope uh, all of... Sir, all of yeah, yeah. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, starting the session, uh, let me introduce yourself to the uh, student participants. Sure. Uh, respected guest speaker for the webinar, Mr. Gajendra Kothari, our respected principal ma'am, vice principals, dear colleagues, and student particip participants for the webinar. Indeed, it is my honor and privilege to introduce today's eminent speaker for the webinar, Mr. Gajendra Kothari, who is presently the MD and CEO of Etika Wealth Management Private Limited. He is a Chartered Financial Analyst, MBA, and FA. Mr. Kothari has more than 15 years of rich experience in Indian and overseas capital markets. He is leading Etika Wealth Management since 2011. Prior to joining Etika Wealth Management, he was Vice President and Head Products for Portfolio Management Division at UTI Mutual Fund. He was also the business development head for UK and European market for UTI International Limited in London for three years. Mr. Kothari's main passion is to create finance and empowerment amongst the youth of India. This is the main reason why he is here today. He has empowered more than 10,000 participants in the last eight years. He has conducted more than 700 training sessions in areas of personal finance, mutual fund, and insurance. Mr. Kothari has been interviewed and quoted by both international and domestic print media. He has been featured in titled Top 10 Financial Planners in India by jagoadvisor.com. He has also been felicitated with the Wealth Forum Rising Star Award 2013. I now invite Mr. Gajendra Kothari to deliver his session on managing finances as a youth and how to make your money work hard for you. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Professor Justin, for that uh, generous introduction. And uh, uh, I would uh, like to compliment uh, Dr. Bagla for her wonderful remarks and setting the tone for today's session. I hope all of you are able to hear my voice uh, loud and clear, and you're able to see my screen, uh, the presentation. Uh, I'm indeed, it's, it's indeed a privilege for me to be, uh, to be delivering this kind of webinar for one of the most prestigious uh, institutions in Bombay and in, uh, in, in India as well, uh, KC College. Uh, you know, and I, since uh, I have a lot of, I deal with a lot of young investors, a lot of students, they always aspire, they always dream to be, uh, to be getting, you know, admission into KC College, HR College. And it's so difficult there because uh, only the best could make out, you know, can, can come and join there. Uh, and I had the privilege of living right opposite KC College for a good five years. So it's indeed like a family and I've been coming there for, for a good time. And I look forward to many more interactions with all you students uh, in, in person when the lockdown uh, gets lifted uh, for, for these enriching conversations. Now today's topic is a very, very important topic. Uh, and uh, I must tell you that when I was your age, uh, 20 years back, believe me, there was no such kind of sessions. Uh, you know, we all had to learn this topic by, by committing mistakes and by trial and error. Uh, I would say uh, today, uh, thanks to the efforts of uh, these professors and the Department of Commerce and Department of Accountancy, this webinar is, is made live to you uh, for the students of KC College and for students of other colleges as well. So what are we going to expect from this webinar? Uh, so first of all, it's going to be interactive and educative session. Okay. Uh, uh, for uh, first, I'll complete kind of my part, uh, you know, which may take one, one and a half hours. And then I would like to open for questions and answers. Please hold your questions until then. Uh, so for me, even if, if, you know, if you want me to go beyond the stipulated time, I have no issues. Uh, the idea is if you are spending one and a half, two hours on this webinar, every second should be worth, you know, I mean, you should feel that this was one of the best investments you ever did in your life. And what do we expect from this uh, webinar? 
So we are going to touch upon timeless lessons from the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, we're going to discuss on the understanding the value of money, knowing the eighth wonder of the world, that is the power of compounding. We're going to touch upon different asset classes. Uh, what are the different investment options? And we are going to also discuss on taking the first step at how do you open and manage your bank accounts and start your investments. Okay. And by doing this, how do we achieve financial freedom? So, so as much as this seminar is meant for a student, this is equally uh, relevant for anybody who is watching this. Uh, you know, I'm told this is live on YouTube as well. So I hope this, this is going to be a worthwhile session for the next uh, next two hours. Uh, this is my favorite slide. I begin my presentation from this slide always, you know, uh, today you are all attending this webinar to understand as a concept investment is return. You know, I'm interested in knowing that next 10 saal, 15 saal, I'm going to, I'm going to get the best return. I'm going to become rich. So guys, you know, in this webinar, you're not going to get any stock tips or any fund or any particular thing. But you are going to get some very wise advice, which I've learned from mistakes. And that has come by investing in knowledge. So in fact, investing in knowledge pays the best interest. This is the best investment in the world, which you can ever do. And the kind of returns you can expect from this kind of investment is not one X or two X. It can be hundred X, thousand X. This investment can change your life. Okay. Mark my words, uh, because uh, for the last 16 years, I have done some amazing investments in knowledge and you know, today, whatever I'm, it is because of my, my time being spent in knowledge. And this was said by Benjamin Franklin many years ago, this whole good today as well. Uh, you know what, uh, all of you guys, all of you people who are attending today, I am really grateful to you because you had a choice, right? You had a choice not to attend this webinar. And you know, other students would give an advice that, you know, I don't have time. Uh, I don't know what, I don't want to waste uh, you know, a couple of hours in this. I have something important to do. And this guy said, Shane Parrish, we waste years because we cannot waste hours. You know, because we can't waste two hours, people end up wasting many years. And uh, I think, you know, after attending this webinar, you will agree with me on this statement. Okay. Uh, already Professor Justin has given me uh, my introduction to you. I'm glad what he didn't share in the introduction is, was a very curious part. And I'm sure uh, so far what you've been looking on the web, on, on the, on the screen, you've been a little curious to know why this guy is calling himself an idiot. You know, uh, isn't he crazy out of mind, but uh, I would like to keep this mystery for, for the time being, but I am happy to be called one idiot. Okay. This is my identity. And uh, I'll tell you in a bit uh, why I am an idiot. Okay. So this is my brief introduction. Okay. Uh, so either you will understand this seminar or this thing in five minutes. Frankly, there's nothing much to share in this, or you may not be able to understand for lifetime. <laughs> Isn't this very surprising? You know, why we thought investment was so difficult. Investment is so boring. Or, and I am I'm reasonably confident that because you're students, because you're just about to start in life, you will understand in five minutes. But if I were to give this seminar to your parents, okay. And, uh, elders, I can tell you 90% of people won't be able to understand for a lifetime. Why? Because this topic is actually very simple, but as human beings, we ourselves try to make it very complicated. You know, Leonardo da Vinci said, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication in life, but, but as you know, we can't digest simplicity, right? I'm look so simple. Okay. I would like to start this webinar by one question to all of you is money, everything in life. Kya paisa sab kuch hai zindagi mein? So both log soch rahe ki yaar, what is this question? Right. And, uh, many people in my seminars give this answers. Nahi, 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 money is not everything in life. Paisa sab kuch nahi hai. And uh, I must tell you, <laughs> most of them are not honest. There are a few honest people who says, yes, uh, sir, I do agree with your statement. Aaj ki mein, somehow, paisa hi sab kuch ho gaya hai. right? Whether we like it or not, uh, the world has become more and more materialistic. Okay. So as I told you, most people trying to be, try to become diplomat and says, look, money is not everything in life. It doesn't matter. And normally I see the people who make such statements uh, are the ones who have not uh, made money in their life. And that's how, you know, because they have not made money in life, they won't, they don't want to accept that it is everything. 
but warren buffett has said this make sure that you have made enough money before speaking such nonsense okay pehle paise bana lo fir ye badi badi baatein karna right and i read this wonderful quote which says money can't buy happiness but it's more comfortable to cry in mercedes than on a bicycle agree so so yes money of course can't buy us everything but it does buy a lot of things and i believe whatever money can buy today we should buy it you know if money can buy happiness for us please go ahead and buy that happiness that's my first suggestion can anybody tell me you know what is what is common through uh, these people you know you can quickly type on the chat box uh uh on what is common to these people come on come on friends first and first you know fastest fingers first what is common to these people any answers quickly you can type on the chat box if you okay most of them have written they are rich they are famous they are successful they are hard working they are foreigners <laughs> good answer i i like this okay hard work and dedication to their profession successful in the fields they are rich they are all rich they have loads of money none of them are not racist okay uh, right time dedication come from poor background right mindset male <laughs> okay i'm not trying to become sexist but okay i'll tell you the answer i'll tell you the answers in fact all of them have become bankrupt at some point of time in their life okay they were broke they become bankrupt and i don't know if you if you know this person this is this is a famous cricketer chris kanes from new zealand and when he used to tour india you know uh, he was one of the most uh, uh uh followed person in our country and uh, and look what has happened chris kanes cleaning bus shelters to clear bills okay so he was cleaning buses he still i mean he was cleaning buses to pay his debt and he was getting 17 dollars an hour imagine right so if you see the last line of the of this article 17 dollar an hour to foot legal expenses then there is boris becker again a famous tennis player again uh, he has gone bankrupt wealth can get destroyed quickly if not managed well don't make the same mistake right this is very shocking right so and the reason behind this is uh, this wonderful comment from rich dad poor dad he says one of the reasons the poor are poor is because they do not invest money or time into the financial education uh, when i meet almost all people i've seen you know why people are poor because either they don't want to invest their money or time into their financial education and that's very important so this is my favorite book this is one of the book that has kind of helped shape me uh, my thinking for years rich dad poor dad i would strongly recommend each one of you to read this book i think this book can change your life too some amazing lifelong uh, lesson this is the finest book on personal finance uh, which has ever come out and it is it is sold uh, more than i think i think uh, you know millions of copies uh, across the world so so there are two dads basically is talking about poor dad versus rich dad uh, the love of money is the root of all versus the lack of money is the root of all evil right so the poor money the poor dad used to say the love of money is the root of all evil and the rich dad says the lack of money is the root of all evil there was always going uh, you know a big fight between poor dad versus rich dad poor dad says i cannot afford it and hence you should not think about it rich dad tells his children how can i afford it you know rather than saying i can't afford it money doesn't matter again poor dad's view on money and rich dad says money is power okay money is freedom study hard so you can find a good company to work for these were the words of poor dad rich dad says study hard so you can find a good company to buy now look at the thinking here right complete transformational one was my poor dad while the other was my rich dad so robert kiyosaki says he's a japanese who is now settled in america he lives in a beautiful city called you know uh, called hawaii and he has a rich he had a poor dad as well as rich dad poor dad was his uh, his real dad biological dad which taught him all uh, all the all the lines which i just mentioned in the first part rich dad was his friend's dad mike his friend was mike and his friend's dad was his rich dad who actually taught him all the life's 
you know, real lessons, right? So I'm going to share the story of Rich Dad versus Poor Dad. These are the six timeless lessons, friends, we can learn from the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Okay, uh, first thing, rule number one, the rich do not work for money. Always understand, rich people never work for money. In fact, money works for them. And today we are going to understand how money works for them, okay? Uh, number two, they say financial literacy is necessary. Uh, this is the most important thing, okay? Almost all the people who are rich in the world, they, are, they have amazing financial literacy. They, they know how to manage their money better. The rule number three is mind your own business, okay? You should know what business are you in and how can that business work for you. Rule number four, use the cover of a corporation. Basically telling, he's saying that, you know, uh, there is something called private limited company or companies, okay? Private limited, public limited companies. Use the power of these corporations, right? And I'll tell you a bit more about in the coming slides. Rule number five says the rich invented money. The rich people, uh, they, they control money and that is what we should learn. And rule number six is work to learn. So these are the six rules. And the book summary, as you can see, great opportunities are not seen with your eyes. They are seen with your mind. What a beautiful quote, right? Let's go to rule number one, friends. The rich do not work for money. Uh, it says the poor work for money, the rich have money work for them. So in the world today, 98% of the people in our country work for money. Every day you would see our parents would, work, uh, would wake up at six o'clock in the morning, go to their work and slog till 8 p.m. in the evening, six days a week. Some even slog for seven days a week for, for many years, for 20, 30 years. Yet, we are barely able to cover our expenses, right? We, we are not able to achieve financial freedom. And there are 2% of the people in the world for whom money works for them. So what these 2% of the people do that the remaining 90% of the people are not able to do? And that is what we are going to understand today. Monthly salary is very attractive. So if you're an employee, if you are working a job, uh, that's you know one of the most uh, important. I've seen amazing talented people, okay, working for a salary. And that's, that can be very addictive. And he says, this is what his poor dad used to tell him, find a good job, find a good job, you know. Again, most poor people always complain, we do not have enough money. And that is why uh, they, they, they never think about expanding the horizon. Uh, fear and greed lead us to the trap. The whole world, in the whole world, I think fear and greed are the strongest emotions, right? Uh, they can make us do anything or everything. Right now, the fear of coronavirus, as you can see, has, has you know, uh, made us so insecure that uh, we, want to, we want to really uh, don't do anything that can have even slightest of impact on our health, right? That's again fear. Somebody was saying, you know, that the fear of coronavirus is far more important than the disease itself, you know, than the virus itself, right? Any job is just a short-term solution to a long-term problem. So again, he says, uh, you know, no matter which job you are into, that is only a short-term solution to a much longer-term problem. That will never solve your problem uh, ever. Choose your thoughts. Is there something that I'm missing here? Your thoughts are very powerful. If you think negative, you will get negative outcome. If you think positive, uh, you know, it will have a multiply effect. This is very interesting. Financial literacy is a must. In our country, unfortunately, 95% of the people are not financially literate. We all, I mean, I, I live in Bombay. Many of you are in Bombay. Bombay is supposed to be the financial capital of India, right? So can you imagine when I talk to many CFOs, many country heads, many financial uh, chartered accountants, I find that even most of them do not have uh, the kind of financial literacy they should have. Okay, while we may claim that we are 100% literate uh, as a country now, but financial literacy is, is, is a long way to go. So we need to understand what is financial literacy. Basically, the book suggests you need to know what is the difference between an asset and a liability, right? I'm sure as a part of commerce students, accountancy students, you would know the answer, at least the theoretical answer for sure, what is an asset and what is a liability. Now, I want to ask you a very, very controversial question, uh, which many of you may have very different views. Is your house an asset or a liability? Okay. Is your house an asset or a liability? Now, many people must be wondering, what stupid question is this? You know, how can a house be a liability, right? House is an asset. I live there, you know, I can sell it. 
yes friends a house is an asset uh, if you have owned it from your own money and that house is earning you rent uh, you know or if you're living it by the way guys if you're living in the house uh, that's a consumption then that's not an asset you're consuming it just like the way you buy a car car is not an asset it's a consumption the house in which you live is an asset is not an asset because you live in it it is a, it is for consumption but of course if you've bought a house and you've given on rent then an asset but imagine most of us most of us have bought that house on emi right and we get into 20 30 year emi so friends technically we are not owning that house our bank owns that house for next 20 years because the papers still lie with the bank unless you have cleared the last emi payment the house doesn't belong to you right so so for most middle class people actually the house is a liability if it is on emi and they think they've got an asset and this is a wonderful chart which tells you how the poor people think middle class people think rich people think so the poor people uh, you know they have a job they get income okay and bechare log ka sara kharcha mein paisa nikal jata hai imagine our maid uh, you know a uh, our uh, car driver a gardener becharon ke paas ek job hai aur abhi to corona virus ke time pe wo bhi nahi hai unke paas mein to jo income aa rahi thi wo bhi nahi aa rahi hai aur jo income aati thi usse unka sara kharcha nikal jata to unke paas kabhi savings hoti hi nahi thi right aur isliye poor people unfortunately do not have balance sheets right they don't have assets or liabilities column unko pata bhi nahi hai ki ye kya hota hai the most interesting thing is the middle class people uh, middle class people have a job and they have an income based on their future income they create a big liability like you know house emi okay car emi uh, many other emis we have loans pay loans loans pay loans and hum log kya karte hain dosto puri zindagi bhar ye loan chukate reh jate hain emi pe aur hum log kabhi assets create hi nahi kar pate hain very unfortunate and look what the rich people do rich people first of all they don't have jobs right they don't work for others they think if they are really very good they work for themselves and that's how they create assets and make sure these assets generate income for the rest of their life that's how rich people think so if we can understand their mindset if we can understand how a rich person think and if we can uh, you know use that in our life that learning one day we will all become rich okay this is a very important lesson rule number 3 mind your own business okay and that's very important uh so mind your own business means you know it, it says what's the business of mcdonalds okay uh business uh, mcdonalds ka kya business hai many people give me this answer you know mcdonalds is into a fast food business mcdonalds is into uh, a burgers it is into fries it is into happy meals okay but actually yes saurav mishra you are right tejasvi you are absolutely right they are into real estate business they are into franchise business perfectly on target they are not into the business of selling uh, you know french fries or this thing that is their profession you need to understand what is the difference between profession and a business okay the day you understand a chartered accountant when he is doing uh, uh, you know uh, something for his clients uh, you know accountancy thing then it's a profession always remember that there is a wonderful saying friends dollar one dollar 1 earned without your efforts is much better than dollar 2 earned with your time or efforts okay i repeat again dollar 1 earned in life without your time and efforts is much better than dollar 2 earned with your time and efforts okay remember this words agar aap profession mein hain to only when you are working you will be paid right india's best doctor let's say Uh, a heart surgeon maybe i'm uh, let's talk about dr ramakant panda dr naresh trehan jab tak wo log heart surgeries kar rahe hain unko paisa milega agar wo log ek mahine ke liye vacation pe gaye unka meter band ho gaya right so they that is why they will never become the richest people on earth imagine mukesh ambani mukesh ambani raat ko sota hai to bhi paisa aata hai right warren buffett raat ko sota hai to bhi paisa kama raha hota hai bill gates raat ko sota hai to bhi paisa kama raha hota hai that is what they are into business so you you should mind your own business you should be doing a business where you are getting passive income without uh, devoting much of your time because friends remember each one of us has limited time in the world in the sense each one of us has only 24 hours a day right kisi ke paas 
ट्वेंटी फाइव आवर्स नहीं है सो यू टू मैक्सिमाइज योर टाइम एंड दैट इज वाई दिस कैश फ्लो क्वाड्रेंट इज समथिंग विच यू शुड ऑल अंडरस्टैंड देर आर फोर वेज टू प्रोड्यूस इनकम सो फर्स्ट इज एम्प्लॉय यू हैव ए जॉब राइट यू नो यू आर वर्किंग फॉर समबडी एल्स तो जब तक आपकी नौकरी है तब तक आपको पैसा कमा रहे हो एंड हाउ यूर हाउ यू आर ट्रेडिंग यूर ट्रेडिंग योर टाइम फॉर मनी राइट so this is this is uh, this is the most this is not the most ideal state to be in actually right and then and then the next thing is you become self employed e ke baad s s mein you become self employed now rather than working for others you are working for your yourself like a professional abhi aapke khud ke paas job hai again kya ho raha hai aap time uh, invest kar rahe ho to aapko paisa mil raha hai आपने एक घंटा काम किया किसी के लिए तो आपको एक घंटे का मिल रहा है बट खाली फर्क क्या है एम्प्लॉय में आप दूसरे के लिए कमा रहे थे अभी आप खुद के लिए कमा रहे हो फिर अगर आप यहां से ग्रेजुएट करते हो देन यू बिकम अ बिजनेस ओनर राइट बिजनेस ओनर में क्या होता है यू डू लेवरेज हाउ डू यू लेवरेज यू हायर अदर पीपल पीपल वर्क फॉर यू राइट सो आप उनसे काम करवाते हो एंड दे आर वर्किंग फॉर यू एंड दैट्स अगेन अ वंडरफुल सिस्टम टू हैव यू ओन अ सिस्टम द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल can be the last column which is investor basically you own investments you own wonderful companies okay and you make other people work for you and the the most common example which everybody gives in this world is of warren buffett he is an investor jinhone khud kabhi business as such chalaya nahi hai he is never the business owner he, he never run the business hands on ki textile business you know amazon business but he is invested in fabulous businesses right बट बाकी जो लोगों ने आज तक लाइफ में पैसा कमाया है चाहे वो बिल गेट्स हो चाहे स्टीव जॉब्स हो चाहे एमेजोन जेफ बिजोस हो मार्क जकबर्ग दे आर ऑल बिजनेस ओनर्स एंड दे हैव बिकम रिच बिकॉज ऑफ दे हार्ड वर्क एंड अदर पीपल वर्क फॉर देम सो गाइस फ्रेंड्स यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वाड्रेंट वेरी वेल एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू शुड ट्राई टू बिकम फ्रॉम ई टू एस टू बी टू आई राइट आई होप एवरीबडी इज क्लियर ऑन दिस नंबर 4 यूज द कवर ऑफ अ कॉर्पोरेशन बेसिकली इट सेज यू नो basically it says that you should use the power of corporation right uh, in india and in the world companies ko bahut sare benefits milte hain they got they get lot of tax advantages see in individual mein kya hota hai you earn money uh, so again i'll give you a classic example of you know we have uh, so many professors out there in the webinar also teachers uh, you know they get salaries right many of your parents are working for a job you get salaries but salary aane se pehle government take their share right government apna hisse ka paisa le leti hai chahe 20% ho chahe 30% ho uske baad jo bachta hai wo humko milta hai and we say yaar ye fair nahi hai right but uh, in business if you are having a business okay so first you make all the expenses under your business uske baad jo bachta hai profit us pe aap government ko tax dete hain right that is the cover of a corporation and that is what he said government gives you lot of tax benefits and we should understand the power of this right uh, and uh, robert kayasaki says you know when you are working for a job company 40% of the salary is taken by the government yaar when you are working for the government and you are working for the employee you are never, never working for yourself and he says you should understand what is accountancy all about all entrepreneurs in the world should understand what is finance if you don't understand finance uh, you know you will have big problems some day okay uh, i remember natural ice cream ke jo malik hai mr kamath Uh, and this is in public interview i said he has created a wonderful franchisee called naturals aur bahut saal se acha chal raha tha but one day there was big tax ka problem and because he never managed accounts and finance and uh, you know he lost whatever he has built over 20 years and uh, and uh, as a result he he today shares ki har jan ko everybody should understand uh, you know about uh, the importance of finance the importance of money or investing right so that's 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 the fourth lesson the fifth lesson is the rich invented money uh, that is what they say uh, information is wealth uh, how do we increase our financial intelligence uh, that is again very very important you know uh, from time to time you need to keep on sharpening this skill of yours okay and finally the last lesson is is work to learn right so education is the best investment you know a lit, you know uh, to me education has always been the best investment in life i try to become a generalist okay rather than being a specialist uh, i try to know a little about a lot of things okay 
एजुकेशन इज मोर वैल्यूबल देन मनी इन द लॉन्ग रन आई कम्प्लीटली अग्री विथ विथ यू इनफैक्ट आप ये जो स्क्रीन देख रहे हैं स्क्रीन ये ये यही जो लैपटॉप है ये जो स्क्रीन है इसी इसी से आई एम गिविंग यू द प्रेजेंटेशन बट आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू शो दैट माई स्क्रीन आई एक्चुअली वॉन्टेड टू शो यू जो ये कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन के जो बाजू में क्या है वहां पे कैन यू सी दैट ऑन द राइट एंड साइड इट इज गॉड इज सरस्वती राइट फॉर मी गॉड इज सरस्वती इज इज मच इंपॉर्टेंट देन गॉड इज लक्ष्मी एंड हमेशा मैं इनकी प्रार्थना करता हूँ ताकि अपने यू नो नॉलेज मिले आई कैन शेयर दिस नॉलेज विद मेनी अदर पीपल और सरस्वती जी का ध्यान रखोगे तो लक्ष्मी जी अपना आप आपके पास आ जाएंगे ये मेरा दावा है आपको राइट सो गॉड इज ऑफ वेल्थ एब्सोल्युटली यू यू हैव सेड इट वेरी राइट सो सरस्वती वर्सेस लक्ष्मी आई ऑलवेज गिव मोर इंपॉर्टेंस टू सरस्वती जी वाई डू फाइनेंशियल लिटरी वाई डू फाइनेंशियली लिटरेट पीपल स्ट्रगल बिकॉज दे हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड फियर ऑफ लूजिंग मनी वी हैव डीप रूटेड सिनिसिजम यू नो taught by our previous generations uh, we are lazy bad habits and arrogance uh, ego can also you know can be uh, can be a big stumbling block to learning agar hum sochte hain ki nahi mujhe sab kuch aata hai to fir hum kabhi seekh nahi payenge aaj 15 16 saal karne ke baad bhi main har din apna time itne sare webinars aur sunne mein lagata hu and i try to learn every day so go ahead and take action wow wonderful so you know i have explained uh, this thing to you uh, the rich dad poor dad uh this is just the gist and summary which i could give you because we had limited time i would really encourage all of you to please go and buy this book today on amazon kindle whatever borrow buy you know beg borrow or steal whatever you can do but please read this book and i'm sure you will remember me for this now i am actually going to share something very interesting with you uh you know uh, before i start my next part of the discussion and that is basically a movie that has changed my life right you are able to see my screen uh, so i'm going to play i'm going to play this movie so please let me know uh, are you okay uh, let us see if you are able to hear the voice so are you able to hear the voice can you please type on chat box yes. uh, okay you are able yes, to hear yeah. so okay yeah. so friends uh, just before i start this movie this movie has changed my life uh, as i told you 10 years back uh, you all have seen the movie three idiots i'm sure three idiots has been one of the best bollywood movie ever created uh, there's wonderful lesson in that movie which says follow your heart aapko life mein wohi karna chahiye jo aapka dil bole right Uh, don't just go by what the system tells you so this movie called one idiot that changed my life and that is why that is how i am going to un, you know uh, unravel the mystery why i want to like myself and fall in idiot this is a, almost a 30 minute movie 33 minute movie this movie was produced by a wonderful director called amol gupte i am sure many of you would know him uh, he is the same person who directed tare zameen par and stanley ka dappa उन्होंने ये बहुत अच्छी मूवी बनाई है वन इडियट विच इज बेसिकली मेंट फॉर द यूथ ऑफ आर कंट्री और ये मूवी ने 10 साल पहले मेरी लाइफ बदल दी थी और आज मैं जो भी हूँ जो मेरी थिंकिंग है आज वो इस मूवी के पीछे है सो so, आप जब ये मूवी देखोगे अभी यू नो वी आर गोइंग टू प्ले दिस मूवी एंड माय नेक्स्ट सेशन माय नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेशन इंटायरली इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस मूवी सो लेट्स वॉच दिस मूवी राइट वे एंड देन विल कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन फ्रॉम देयर Fine, you are fine as bright as bright as sunshine. This is well, that is well, all is well. Softly clad. Softly clad, Papa had mommy had. Feeding my tummy head, some crunch yummy, yummy head. Life got me eating musty head, got 
नजरों की बसते है खर्चा जबरदस्त है आजकल आठाना किधर है अंकल तो एक रुपया दो है? और मैं आपका अंकल या आप मेरे अंकल एक रुपया दो लो थैंक यू अंकल श्री शांति प्रसाद द्वारकानाथ भार्गव उर्फ बग्स इडियट हो गया इडियट हो गया उर्फ इडियट इडियट गुड मॉर्निंग माय बॉय गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन ये कॉकरोच अंकल भिंडी 12 रुपया पाव और गोभी दस रुपया पाव एंड पनीर और आज मैं पनीर नहीं खरीदा पनीर नॉट ऑन द मेन्यू टुडे बाबा ओके टाटा बाय बाय संडे मॉर्निंग इन बसेरा हैप्पी यंग वंस बोनसेरा क्या इडिया टेप सही में उसकी आवाज़ चप्पल ले मोर हवा लेस चप्पल गन्ना ग्रीन प्लास्टिक भाजी बास्केट ऑफ इज मैन सो अनकूल एक्चुअली आई डोंट माइंड हिम यू वॉन्ट मैरी हिम चुपे चुपेड गुलाम सर्वेंट इडियट भाजी ला इडियट खाना बना ए नेहा साइज देखे गुलाम दूर अंकल एक्स्ट्रा ला जाए भारी पड़ेंगे Prashant, if your brother wasn't so cute, no? One I would have given him. Hi, Bugs Uncle. Hello, Mr. Chota. How's your Sunday? Are you having a fun day? Ha. Bus here. You guys have tennis match. Wat laga dalenge. Arre chalo, wat laga ke aao. No, no, Uncle, I'll help you. Oh, thank you, Chota. Thank you. So, Mr. Chota, why don't you come and have lunch with us? I'm cooking something really interesting. What's on it? अरे everybody's at home. आज तो Sunday है ना? So, क्या opening कर रहे हो आप batting? Hey, hello. What happened? Where are you? Tanya's mad at me, यार. क्यों क्या हुआ? I had promised her tickets for David Guetta. थ्री थाउजेंड बक्स टिकट मैं कहा से लाऊ यार डैड से ले ले लोन कहा यार डैड खुद लोन पे जी रहा है तो फगेट इट अरे क्या फगेट इट कोई और लेके आ गया तो चली जाएगी उसके साथ <laughs> ए, वो हाथ पकड़ रही है टैक्सी पकड़ रही है छोड़ दे दादा छोड़ दे यूजलेस है ए चिल्लर पार्टी एक वर्ड नहीं यहाँ छोटा है छोटा रहे समझा ना एक वाटर बड़े भाई का सुनने का नहीं तो एक खींच के मिलेगा और तू आगे ऐसी कहाँ से आया चल पीछे ऐसी जा चल छोटे प्रशांत बल्ला मैदान में उठा इधर नहीं चल जा हाँ जा रहा हूँ जा रहा हूँ मैच ही खेलने जा रहा हूँ ये देख फिफ्टी रुपीज पर प्लेयर शील्ड मनी है क्या तुम लोग के पास हुँ? बोल है है तेरे पास है है ऑल कड़का तुम जैसे लोग को टीम में भी कौन लेगा संडे को बैठे इधर लूजर लूजर सबको बोल रहे पूरा वर्ल्ड इडियट है खाली तुम लोग ही बहुत चाड़े हो बैठे रहो गाड़ी पे आता हूँ मैं जीत के जुगाड़ हुआ लास्ट टाइम टेलिंग छोटा सा शटअप ओके ये दादा 
इतना गुस्सा क्यों होता है ये ले। से क्या होगा अरे समथिंग बेटर देन नथिंग तेरा गोटा काउंट तो शुरू कर हाय गाइस गुड इवनिंग सर सर दिस इज रंजन हाउ द वेदर देयर यार लंच टाइम पे क्यों करते हैं यार डैड वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस अब उनका हाथ में थोड़ी ना एनीवेज मैं जाऊं किधर डैड विल गेट मैड यू नो संडे लंच इज संडे लंच ए तो डैड को मुस्का लगा रहा है तेरे को लगता है कि वो गोटा के लिए तेरे को 6000 मिलेगा मुस्का लगाने तो मेरे को लगा मेरे पास है क्या है तेरे पास पिगी बैंक हां यस कैन वी टॉक अबाउट इट सर मिस्टर रंजन आई एम सो टायर्ड आई कोंट स्लीप प्रॉपर्ली कैन यू कॉल लेटर प्लीज ऑल राइट नो प्रॉब्लम सर आई एम सॉरी टू बॉदर यू 7:30 योर टाइम होंगकोंग टाइम द बिल इज रेडी एंड आई जस्ट वांटेड टू शेयर इट विद यू प्लीज कॉल लेटर राइट थैंक यू सर सॉरी फॉर बॉदरिंग ओके राइट एंड डिलीशियस डिलीशियस जी थोड़ा एक्सपेंसिव है लेकिन आप फिक्र क्यों करें हम बागेन करेंगे ना जी 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 आई एम टॉकिंग टू हिम दस मिनट के लिए तो डांस भी करेगा रॉयल वेडिंग है कपूर जी <laughs> आप चिंता मत करिए अरे पीआर भी है पेज थ्री क्वार्टर पेज ओके जी बाय हो गया और हो गया हो तो लंच कर ले मालती खाना लाओ क्या हो गया बैंड बाजा बारह रंजन प्लीज वाई नॉट सुबह से ऑपरेटर बन के लोगों के फोन उठा रहा हूं कभी फ्लोरिस्ट कभी वो डेकोरेटर बैलेंस पेमेंट बैलेंस पेमेंट बैलेंस पेमेंट नॉट बैंड बाजा बारात सब ठीक है पापा है मम्मी है फीरिंग माथा में है सब कुछ है क्या बिरयानी है कि फ्राइड राइस खिचड़ी है कि पुलाव मोम वॉट इज इट आई डोंट नो मालती से पूछो हाँ पूर्णिमा अच्छा हाँ ट्वेल्थ इज फिक्स था So Chota hungry? Very hungry. Ready for a surprise? Always. One, two, three. A real? <laughs> And let the Sunday lunch begin. chota ilai walakum sayum when you have to eat them eat them don't talk them चक्कर अरे गेट रियल आरती गेट रियल यार आई हैव गॉट टू टॉगल फॉर क्रेडिट कार्ड पेमेंट्स दिस मंथ और सबका मिनिमम आ रहा है बाईस हजार रुपए ऊपर से हाउसिंग ई एम आई ग्रोसरी सर्वेंट्स की सैलरी दौड़ रहा हूँ दौड़ रहा हूँ दौड़े ही जा रहा हूँ यार इट्स नॉट एंडिंग एंड इट्स नेवर इनफ तो क्यों कर रहे हो किसको दिखाना चाहते हो मैं दिखा रहा हूँ 
ये तुम्हारी अपोस्ट्री छुपाने के लिए होती बिल्कुल नहीं आए दिन तुम्हारे बॉसेस ही तो तशरीफ रखते हैं वहाँ जिनके सामने तुम बार बार अपनी छह रिस्ट वॉचेस फ्लैश करते हो Every conversation, every argument has got to end with my wrist watches or what? No. In fact, I'd like you to wear all your six watches at the same time. Maybe then they could show us a better time. Sammy, तुम लोग नहीं जा रहे हो? कहाँ? Guetta concert. पूरी दुनिया जा रही है यहाँ पर तो टिकट की फाइटिंग हो रही है नो वी आर नॉट गोइंग डेविड क्वेटा सो व्हाट यार ये तो घर से इतना दूर है लाइक बैक ऑफ बियॉन्ड और उधर स्क्रीन पे ही देखना है तो अगले वीक वीएच वन पे देख लेंगे यार डैड का खाना खाते खाते And who wants to tell the whole world we were there, yeah? स्मार्ट विद मी क्या ये डैड मॉम को मालूम है अब इसमें उनका क्या कनेक्शन है दिस आर माइंड मेरे ही है लेकिन ये है क्या सिप 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 व्हाट अरे डफर सिप व्हाट ने सिप सिप सिस्टमैटिक इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लान सिप व्हाट अरे सिप सिस्टमैटिक इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लान सिप अरे बट वेयर इज द मनी या तो तू उल्लू है या तो तू पक्का उल्लू है अरे दिस इज द मनी पूछ पूछ मीनिंग मतलब डोंट फील शाय डैड अब इसमें डैड का क्यों संडे बिगाड़ रहा है ये कोई चोरी का माल नहीं है मतलब आ, अब पूछा ना मतलब देख तुझे क्या लगता है मेरी पॉकेट मनी किधर जाती है बर्थडे कैश एंड वो फीलिंग गुड पॉकेट मनी क्रिकेट शील्ड्स दादी का प्यारा पोता अलावेंस रोमा मासी के हर विजिट के हंड्रेड ग्राम्स तुझे भी तो मिलते हैं ना पर तेरे जाते तानिया की सेवा में मेरे यहाँ जाते हैं अरे लेकिन ये है क्या तेरे जैसे कड़के को ना ये बताना बहुत मुश्किल है अच्छा मैं एक बात बता वट इज मनी 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 एडिशन आता है ना ये ले एड कर करेक्ट ये है वैल्यू छोटा छोटा बोल के मुझे काटता था ना तू ये है मेरा सबसे लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस रनर पान सिंह तोमर चार साल से मेरे लिए भाग रहा है जब तेरी उम्र का हो जाऊंगा ना तब ऐड कर करके कर करके इतना बड़ा हो जाएगा जब मॉम डैड की उम्र का हो जाऊंगा ना तब सिर्फ कर करके कर करके इतना बड़ा पौन बन जाएगा पौन जब दादा दादी की उम्र का हो जाऊंगा ना तब प्रशांत महासागर मतलब पैसिफिक ओशन किसी की बस 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 मैं समझ गया लेकिन ये कीड़ा आया कहाँ से तुझे नाम बताऊंगा ना तू छे ऐसे नीचे गिर जाएगा अरे छोड़ यार बताना आज यू रेडी अरे सस्पेंस क्यों क्रिएट कर रहा है बताना सीधा सीधा 
मतलब अपना वो इडियट उसने ज्ञान दिया तुझे yes. उसने करेक्ट चार साल से उसने अपनी हवाई चप्पल नहीं बदली वो yes. That भाजी भाई कंटामिनेटेड फूल यस यस वो क्या किसी को पैसे के बारे में ज्ञान देगा डोंट रीड अ बुक बैच का वो दादा गेस हाउ मच इज वॉच एनी बडी इज गेस चिल्लर पार्टी यू आर रॉन्ग दादा ही इज वॉच वन हंड्रेड अगर रिस्क कवर करना है तो टर्म इंश्योरेंस है ना दो अलग अलग कटोरी में दो तुम भी जानते हो मैं भी जानता हूँ जो नहीं जानते उनके पास लेके जाओ दाल में सब्जी You're my well-wisher only now. I hope so. Are you watching what's happening? Can you see the trend? Are half the buses slide or are half? What are we waiting for? Be fearful when others are greedy, and be greedy when others are fearful. Push up the equity. Now is the time. <laughs> you can't offer me a job. <laughs> you know I don't do jobs. <laughs> no, no, nothing is a job for me. Or my two rupees? Ha ha, two rupees. Ha ha ha. I I get it. अंकल ये बहुत ज्यादा है हाँ कोई बात नहीं चलेगा चलेगा सौ करोड़ सौ करोड़ सौ करोड़ हा हा वेरी गुड संडे मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू मॉर्निंग सर सर अरे नहीं 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 सर अच्छा नहीं सर इज नॉट गुड अरे क्या हुआ वट हैपन इडियट इज गुड कॉकरोच इज वेरी गुड सर इज नॉट गुड यू नो जब मैं यंग था हमारे पास भी एक बेंच गैंग था और एक जेंटलमैन एशली फर्नांडिस बहुत स्ट्रिक्ट आदमी जब वो पास होता था जैसे मैं पास होता हूं हम सब लोग कैसलेट पागल हो जाता था सो नो बिंदी नो गोभी एंड टूडे आई एक्चुअली बोट पन्नी दो सौ तीस रुपए किलो अरे यार आप लोग बहुत सैड दिख रहे हो हाँ Sometimes Kana and Ghana works magic. So what do you say? Anti pasta, parmesan salad and pasta arabiata. Mm. No sir. No sir. Sorry sir. And I think I make you an offer you cannot refuse.
गुड आफ्टरनून सर राहुल वेलकम वेलकम राहुल सर झेलम फ्लॅट नंबर सिक्स सी वे आय सर नेहा बी वे वरुण लड्डू नीचे बैठे बैठे हम लोग क्या सोचते थे कि मेरा घर मेरा हवाई चप्पल जैसा होगा नहीं वोन आउट एंड टैटर ये इडियट एकदम कटका है बट रिमेंबर दिस इफ यू बाय थिंग्स दैट यू डोंट नीड वन डे यू विल हैव टू सेल द थिंग्स दैट यू डू नीड अक्कल का लड्डू वॉरन बॉफेट से लिया मैंने वॉरन बॉफेट का नाम जानते हो आप यू नो वॉरन बॉफेट इज नाम याद रखो गूगल करो और अक्कल का लड्डू खाओ ओके नाउ कम ऑन इट्स टाइम फॉर द खाना एंड गाना आई प्रोमिस यू फॉलो मी टू द किचन कम ऑन स्कल कैंडी um so but how does this work how does what work so your life lagta nahi ki aap kuch karte ho fir bhi everything's in control are main kuch nahi karta hu clearly you haven't stepped into the kitchen my boy come on help me stir the sauce you know you must never let the sauce sit for too long it becomes heavy it starts to burn and the flavor doesn't spread as nicely as you want it So all your hard work, mehnat, parishram goes for a toss. You must remember to keep stirring the sauce at regular intervals. Bet ne mat to sauce ko bhi aur paise ko bhi. I have a bank account in which I put some extra money but that's about it. I don't believe in saving. I believe in saving is just that I can't save. Savings represent boring part of your life probably like the later part when you're 50 60s thinking of retirement. I myself I haven't saved as such my parents have done it. What are my views on saving? Shit. <laughs> I don't have money at the end of the month to save up savings stuff that I mean money that you don't spend you keep aside. Paise cupboard mein rakhte ho. Piggy bank mein rakhte ho. Bank mein rakhte ho. बैठ जाता है बैठ जाता है सिट्स लाइक अ उसी पैसे को उंगली पकड़ के चलना सिखाओ मैं बताता हूं बेबी है हा? पहला ऐसा चलेगा <laughs> फिर ऐसा 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 चले और फिर दौड़ना शुरू करेगा 
So exercise, exercise your money, make it strong, make your money work hard for you. But sir, how do you make all that money in the first place? Good question. Good question. Drop by drop. Boon boon se tala par. Tumari umr kata. That's when I started thinking about money. How to maximize it, how to multiply it, how to compound it. Jab main kabar mein rakhta tha, kuch nahi milta. Zero. Jab bank mein rakhta hu, fixed interest milta hai. Good. Very good. But it's like cricket. Ones and twos safe, but not match winners. Match winning ke liye kya chahiye? Chaka aur chaka. Chaka and chaka. Absolutely right. That's the way to go. So remember, ones and twos, fours and sixes. That's your winning combination. So ones and twos to samajh gaye we fixed interest. But can you chaka chaka kya hota hai? Equity, shares, stocks. It's so complex. ये सब आपने इतनी जल्दी सोचना शुरू किया क्यों? India is independent. I too should be independent, no? <laughs> What does independence mean? Independence means dignity. Independence means security. Why expect anyone else to look after you when you can look after yourself with a little planning? Plan it out. Shares and dividends and stuff. मैं When I look around me, what do I see? EMI, EMI, EMI. Loan, loan, loan. No saving, only खर्च. Face full of worries, heart full of tension. किसी को बात करने का टाइम नहीं. Life जीने का टाइम नहीं. What kind of life is that? Too much stress. And my cooking would suffer. My music would suffer. And my family would suffer. And at this moment, guys, your pasta is suffering. Eli Wallacom is saying, "When you have to eat them, eat them. Don't talk them." Pesa, ye to hai ye sa. As Warren Buffett says, don't save what is left after spending. Spend what is left after saving, and then life is a sailing, sailing. Plant that seed of two. And falls at sixes, and feed it good. Watch that wisdom tree tower silently. Laden with fruit, what a catch! As wisdom finally wins the match.
पापा मम्मी को बैंक छोड़ दीजिएगा मैं मार्केट होके आता हूँ थैंक यू छोटे बाबा गए जी मैं चलिए सो फ्रेंड्स डिड यू लाइक दिस मूवी So I'll just stop sharing. Yeah. <clears throat> so come back to the presentation. Okay. Please, please type in the chat box if you like this movie. Please put it out here. Uh, I'm sorry there was little video lag. Uh, I couldn't help much because you know it's it's to do with uh, maybe bandwidth connection at places. My only request is uh, you can watch this movie again uh, on YouTube. Uh, just type uh, you know one idiot and uh, you will get this. दोस्तों ये मूवी चेंज माय लाइफ टेन इयर्स बैक आई कैन टेल यू ओके एंड टुडे वॉट एवर आई एम इट इज थैंक्स टू दिस मूवी दिस थर्टी मिनट्स यू आर लकी यू आर है सच ए ग्रेट पर्सन विथ यू तो आप अपना जितना आपका वीडियो आपका ऑडियो बंद है कर दो सर गुड सर आ गया सर कैन वी स्टार्ट नाउ सर यस 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 सर ओके सर सो नाउ ए वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल एंड at this moment in the inaugural function of a two days webinar on agriculture market reforms and market intelligence first of all on behalf of uh, sorry sorry uh, uh, there was some you know uh, voice okay so let's now let's now move uh, move ahead uh, yeah so let's now discuss some learnings from the movie uh, which is the number one message start early so if you can if you can if you if you saw the movie you would remember that young boy started saving you know right from the age of 5 6 7 and by the by the time he was 8 9 can can anybody type in the chat box how much he was having in his piggy bank how much money he was having in his uh, sip or investments anybody who has seen the movie uh, you know six absolutely lisha i'm so happy you've written the right answer 62470 wow you know you have been really following it very closely now now let's answer this question to ourselves today we are all 18 19 20 kya hamare paas itna paisa hai are we anybody of us having this money by our own saved the uh, efforts the answer may not be yes right that is the power of starting early so my request to all of you is that please start today okay and let me show you this example so there is this there is this person uh, mr x and mr y mr start uh, at the age of 25 and mr y starts much later sorry yeah mr x starts at 25 mr y starts at 40 you know uh, and it, mr x only invest for the next 11 years matlab 25 mein shuru karta hai aur 35 mein band kar deta hai aur kitna paisa dalta hai only 5000 rupees on the contrary mr y uh, सेज 25 की उम्र में कौन शुरू करता है अभी तो लाइफ जीने का टाइम है और वो 40 की उम्र में स्टार्ट करता है और नेक्स्ट 21 इयर्स तक इन्वेस्ट करता है एंड ही इन्वेस्ट अराउंड 15000 रुपीस पर मंथ लेट्स सी नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस एक्स इज इन्वेस्टेड अराउंड 6.6 लाख रुपीस जो उसको रिटायरमेंट में जाके मिलते हैं 5 करोड़ रुपए ओके सो ही पुट 6.6 लाख एंड ही गेट्स 5 करोड़ एंड इमेजिन व्हाई ही पुट्स 37 लाख रुपीस ओवर नेक्स्ट 20 इयर्स एंड ही एंड अप ओनली गेटिंग 2 करोड़ इजंट दिस वेरी शॉकिंग that x has only invested for the next 11 years y is invested for 21 x has put in 5000 rupees y has put in 15000 but x gets around 5 crores y gets less than 2 crores so can you tell me uh, the participants what is working for x that is not working for y i'm going to question number super right so the answer is time and compounding time and compounding is working for x that is not working for y that is what is the crux of the presentation and what happens if you delay this right the cost of delay can be devastating so suppose you are 25 and i am all asking you to put 1 lakh rupees per annum right at 25 it's not that difficult 
basically you all have to put 8000 rupees per month and uh, if you're investing till 60 right and earning 12 percent return how much you would get the corpus approximately five crores okay one lakh rupees per annum starting at 25 all the way till 60 at 12 percent you'll get five crores imagine you delay this exercise by one year up so you have what you have done is you have not invested 1 lakh rupees. Friends, your loss is not 1 lakh. Because of that one year delay, you have now ended up losing 52 lakhs, 52,149 in the process. Sirf wo ek saal ka delay ki wajah se. You have lost 11% of your corpus. You delay this exercise by 3 years. You are not investing at 25. You have started investing at 28. You have thought, what difference in आपने तीन लाख रुपए नई नुकसान किए हैं। You have actually lost one crore forty one lakh thirty thousand rupees. And friends, if you have delayed by six years, you didn't start at twenty five and you started at thirty one. Okay, while you should have got four point eight one crore rupees or almost five one crore, now you will end up getting almost fifty percent. Two crore forty one lakhs wiped out. सिर्फ छह साल का delay की वजह से. That is. My main suggestion to you is that after seeing this movie today and after listening to this, please don't even waste one day. Okay. Start from today itself. Uh, somebody is asking me, sir, uh, you know, where to invest? Of course, we'll just discuss that. Now tell me anybody, uh, you know, just quickly type in, uh, uh, in the chat box, which equation is important when it comes to compounding your money. Okay. When it comes to making money, which of these equations is the most important equation? Come on. Quickly type into your chat box. Anmol says multiplication, multiplication. Most of our Prerna says multiplication. Anya, Isha. Okay. Uh, yeah. Few of them are saying power or the raise to. Absolutely right. The last one is the exponential function. That is the only symbol that will help you make money. Okay. Let me explain this to you. Have you ever seen this formula? I'm sure you'd be able to recall. This is the wealth creation formula, friends. Amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R by 100 to the power T. I'm sure everybody is able to recall this formula. This is my friends compound interest formula. Saurabh, this is not a simple interest. This is a compound interest formula. So, paise, paise pe, uh, uh, you know, banta hai. Or isme, there are three variables. Always remember the principal amount that you put P, the return you on you, you earn and the time you invest for. Okay. And the combination of this three makes the final amount. This is the only formula in the world that will make you rich. I can tell you all the richest men and women in the world knows this formula in and out. Uh, yeah, class seven, eight, mein amne mathematics mein hai, but unfortunately, uh, you know, nobody, no one, none of us are applying that in the real world. Right? So if one message you can take, Home today, friends, is this power of compounding and start early. If you have a webinar, my words, friends, please start early. Start today. Okay. So now I just want to share with you why. To so start you early. started investing. Good show. Bring on the trumpets. Now that the hardest part is out of the way, here's how to optimize your investment capital to get the bang for your buck. Invest for the long term and aim to benefit from the power of compounding. Uh, what's compounding? Think of a snowball. At first, it starts off small and humble. But as it rolls along and picks up momentum, it grows to become much larger than when it first started out. In the same way, when you stay invested for the long term, your investments can grow over time. What begins as a modest investment increases gradually to soon become a larger figure than the original amount you invested. Wow! How does that happen? 1. Your investment earns interest at a certain fixed percentage, which is added to the principal. 2. The process repeats itself, only this time the principal you start with is bigger as it contains the interest generated. 3. This bigger block of money generates interest again at the same percentage but this time the interest is slightly larger because you started with a bigger base. Every time the process repeats after the first time, you start with money that generates money to end up with more money. Compounding works best if you apply certain rules to it. 1. Start early and save more. 2. The higher the rate of interest, the more you can accumulate. 3. 
The longer you invest for, the more pronounced the effects of compounding. Make informed investment decisions and invest correctly. To know more, consult your financial advisor or visit ICIC. So uh, friends, three rules to compounding. I'm sure all of you would have understood this video very well. What are the three rules of compounding? The first rule is, and the most important rule is start early. This is number one and save more. What is number two? Try to earn a higher rate of return. Okay. That is the number two rule. And what is the third rule? Invest for a longer time period. If you can follow all three, I can bet you, you will become one idiot someday. This is my promise to you. Okay. There is an, another interesting, uh, एक बार एक कवि हुआ करता था उसकी माली हालत इतनी खराब हुई कि घर में खाने के लाले पड़ गए इसी कारण उसने महल में जाकर राजा से मदद मांगने का फैसला किया राजा के बुलाए जाने पर उसने अपनी कविताएं पढ़नी शुरू कर दी राजा बहुत प्रसन्न हुआ और उसने कवि से अपना इनाम मांगने के लिए कहा कवि ने मोहरों से सजे शतरंज की ओर इशारा करते हुए कहा महाराज अगर आप पहले खाने में चावल का एक दाना रखें और हर खाने के लिए उसे दुगना करते जाएं, तो मैं समझूंगा मुझे मेरा इनाम मिल गया बस इतना ही राजा ने पूछा सिर्फ चावल का एक दाना और सोना नहीं जी हाँ महाराज तो फिर ऐसा ही हो दरबारियों ने चावल के दाने रखने शुरू कर दिए पहले खाने में एक दूसरे में दो तीसरे में चार चौथे में आठ इस तरह वो रखते गए जब दसवें खाने में चावल रखने की बारी आई तो उन्हें चावल के 512 दाने रखने पड़े बीसवें खाने तक संख्या बढ़कर पांच लाख चौबीस हजार दो सौ अट्ठासी हो गई आधे हिस्से तक आते आते बत्तीसवें खाने में चावल के दानों की गिनती 214 करोड़ चौहत्तर लाख तिरासी हजार छह हो गई जल्द ही गिनती अरबों खरबों में बढ़ गई आखिरकार अभागे राजा को अपना पूरा राजपाट उस चतुर कवि के हाथों सौंपना पड़ा और इसकी शुरुआत चावल के सिर्फ एक दाने से हुई थी कहानी की सीख चक्रविधि की ताकत को कम नहीं आंकना चाहिए अगर आप हर महीने नियम पूर्वक एक छोटी रकम निवेश करते हैं तब आपकी एस आई पी आपके सेवा निवृत्त होने तक एक बड़ी राशि बन सकती है Our life is like a chess board. Okay, you can imagine we have sixty-four boxes in that chess board, and uh, that that king was not able to do even half. Okay, so don't underestimate the power of your savings. Even if you start today with five hundred rupees, which I'm sure all of you can, hundred rupees, five hundred, but do it on a regular basis, like that young boy in the movie One Idiot did, and you know one day he got Rolls Royce, right? That is the power of savings. and compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world uh, as you can see this is the power of compounding if you compound let's say at the rate of 10% 15% 20% and i'm just showing you example of 25% here at 25% for 10 years your money becomes almost 10x right so for 20 years most people tell me it will become 20x but actually the answer is wrong in 20 years the answer becomes 87x almost 10 times and in 30 years The answer is not 30x, uh, or you know, the answer is 87 times. This is the power of compounding. You know, our human mind is brain. Our human brain is geared to understand simple interest. It is not designed to understand exponential interest, right? That is why most of people we are not able to understand the power of compounding. 
this is not the right example to give, but this is again very interesting. Look at this news headline which I read in uh, Times of India a few days back. It says it took four months for Corona cases to reach one million, and now just twelve days is to twelve days to double. Right? This is how we are seeing compounding even in coronavirus cases. And I'm sure you'll be able to understand this much better because we are all seeing it on a daily basis. Friends, this is how compounding works. Whether it is health, wealth or anything, compounding initially takes time, but it has it shows tremendous results in the end. As Albert Einstein says, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Those who understand it, earns it. Those who don't, uh, they, pay, they pay it. In fact, this is the greatest mathematical discovery ever made. You know, iske upar aaj tak mathematics mein koi discovery nahi hui hai. This is what uh, Albert Einstein says. And let me just quickly explain you what is the power of compounding in this one chart. Suppose, friends, you're investing one thousand rupees regularly every month over thirty years. Okay, and that is the potential to become fifteen lakhs. You know, so kul mila ke apne three point six lakhs dala one one thousand karke. Assume it grows at the rate of eight percent. So, how much time it takes, friends, to reach first one and a half lakhs? Can Can you tell me by seeing the screen? Pella dhai lakh banne me, kitna time lagta hai? If we keep putting one one thousand rupees for next twelve years, we will come to two point five lakhs. Then, how much time it takes to uh, reach for the next five lakhs, uh, two and a half lakhs, friends? From two and a half to five lakhs, how much time it takes? It took twelve years. Then next, friends, it takes only six years. From five to seven point five lakhs. It takes four years, and look at the last jump: twelve point five lakhs to fifteen lakhs. Friend, it takes two years. Isn't it very shocking that to reach first two and a half lakhs, it took us twelve years, and to reach last two and a half lakhs, it only took two years. So again, you know, it is the power of compounding. That is how that boy was able to buy Rolls Royce when he just turned forty. Again, classic example of Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett started at the age of 11. Okay, he started putting money, uh, you know, five thousand dollars at the age of 11. Today he is almost 90 and is sitting on 83 billion dollars. Okay, and today if you ask him, he says, "I was late, you know, at 11. I should have started much before." Imagine 90 years back, 80 years back, if he started investing. Or today, if he is saying that I was late, then so where are we? Right? We are super late by. His standard, friends. I frankly started my investing seriously after seeing One Idiot movie at the age 30, and आज मुझे बहुत दुख होता है कि I started very late, okay? And I can't undo that. But at least for you out there, you are 18, 19, 20. Please start today. My humble request to you, okay? Don't even delay by one day. And this is the power of compounding. You know, you will see uh, for good 50 years, you won't see much, uh, you know, traction. But look at the towers that he has built over the years. Look at the circle. Okay, so that is the power of compounding. Uh, it takes time, right? My next suggestion is bear in mind that inflation will eat into your savings. I'm sure all of you uh, in this uh, uh, webinar understand what is inflation. Inflation is like a small hole that can sink the entire boat, right? And in that movie, you saw husband and wife were were fighting for what, right? His parents were fighting for budgets. Kharcha, kharcha, kharcha. EMI, EMI, EMI. Tension, tension, tension. Right? Today, everybody is under tension. Jisko dekho, you know, wo bolta hai, kharcha kami nahi hota hai. Look at the expenses we have, and we earn salary once in a month. And look at the prices of these items. Uh, you know, there was a time when bread used to cost ten rupees, milk used to cost ten, twenty rupees, and apple used to cost twenty-five rupees, fifty rupees a kg. Now, I'm sure you know the answer. What is it? Depending on which area we live, it can be anywhere. You know, apples can be anywhere from. Uh, you know 100 to 500 rupees right but i'm not worried about this inflation right iska dam kuch bhi bade tomorrow we will be consuming this and at least the audience uh, you know in this webinar will not be impacted hum log ka guzara ho jayega the poor people might get affected by this but for us friends this is the biggest inflation and this is the most problematic thing for us because five years back this is the life my my i used to live or my father used to live but look at the life we are living today on the right on the second column right from ordinary shoes to red tape shoes from titan watch to a tommy hilfiger watch i'm i'm not even talking about apple watches from a normal restaurant to a fine dining 5000 rupees there was a time you know i studied in donbasco school okay my fees was 120 rupees a month okay today 
you know, there are schools in Bombay where the annual fees is around 12 lakhs per annum. Uh, you know, a normal mobile phone costs 3,000. An Apple iPhone X cost upwards of 1 lakh. Uh, again, there was a time, uh, you know, uh, uh, motorcycles, 50,000. Today, we want sedan. So, I mean, the list can go on, you know, and there's no end to it. I'm not saying that we should not indulge into uh, lifestyle, but try to make a balance. Okay, that's more important. Uh, you know, you remember my first word, my first word was invest early. And my next important thing is invest regularly. Again, that boy was saving 100 rupees, 50 rupees, 200 rupees. Uh, you know, every little bit adds up. And this all small, small money ended up buying Rolls Royce for him, right? So don't think, yeah, sir, I have 500 rupees, I have only 1000 rupees. You know, I will start one day when I'm earning one lakh rupees. Then my friend, you will never be able to start. You know, if you don't start today, you will never be able to start 10 years later. So now let's come to, uh, you know, I just shared with you some timeless investing principles. Now I'll share kaha paisa dalna hai, right? That is the biggest million dollar question, which is there in your mind. Ki, sir, kaha paisa dalne hai? Friends, I, this audience doesn't need uh, introduction ki what is debt and equity. I'm sure all of you understand as, as a part of commerce and accountancy students. Debt is safe. It gives you guaranteed returns. Equity is a partnership in the company. Uh, you know, you earn profits by being in the company. And there are different types of assets in the world, right from real estate, luxury, commodities, bonds, stocks, cash. Uh, each asset class has their own advantages. They have their own disadvantages. There's nothing called right or wrong, right? Uh, but you have to understand there are some which are more liquid and there are some which are less liquid. Okay. Uh, then you have a lot of fixed uh, returns investments so something like debt what is the most common form of investment in debt i'm sure you would know it is fixed deposits right i'm look sab jante ki fixed deposit is the most safest form of investment or public provident fund or anything which is by government of india now just tell me what is the one year bank fd rate today in our country what is the one year sbi fd rate in our country you know can you can you please tell me and just type quickly in the chat box what is the one year fd rate in our country so the answer is very simple. If you see on the right hand side, it is around five, five and a half, six percent, depending on banks. Now, my next question to you is, is this the money you earn into your bank account? So many people don't know, uh, you know, you have to pay tax, right? Aapko government ko tax pay karna hai, TDS. At what rate you have to pay tax depending on the tax bracket you fall into. So if you're into 30% tax bracket and if your one year FD is around 5%, 5% minus 30% matab day taka gaya, so aapko saadhe din taka milega, okay? There is another thing which you have to minus it and that is called inflation. I just told you about inflation, right? So imagine if you minus inflation and inflation is around 5%, 6% today, you are now getting 3.5%, inflation is 5, 6%. Friends, now you're getting 2% negative, right? Your money is earning minus 2%. And you thought FD was safe. You thought FD was guaranteed. Yes, it's guaranteed, but it's actually guaranteed loss. And for the last 20, 30 years, we have been putting our hard-earned money in FD, thinking that our money is growing. So this, you know, so so this is like fixed deposit and recurring deposit that people do in bank. Recurring deposit is nothing but putting your money every month and earning 6% interest rate. This is this is what is uh, an example of uh, recurring deposit. Uh, what is equity? Equity, I'm sure all of you understand, you become a part owner in the company, okay? And uh, like, you know, you can buy Domino's Pizza, Coca-Cola, Warren Buffett is the owner of Coca-Cola. You can become a part am, owner of Amazon. So, you know, that is equity, right? So once you know the difference between debt and equity, you will not go wrong. And this is the history of equity, friends, over the last 40 years. I'm sure all of you understand Sensex, right? Sensex is the basket of top 30 companies in India. The blue chip top 30 companies in India is called Sensex. Over the last 40 years, on an average, Sensex has given around 15% return for the long term. But unlike FD, the returns are not linear. You know, you don't get 15% every It is the average return. And if you see the journey, the journey is very volatile. Uh, you know, it goes very high. It comes down, go up, come down. Just in January, Sensex was around 42,000. March 24th, after coronavirus, you know, uh, scare, it came to 26,000. And while I speak today, it has come back to 36,000. So, we how it is going to move in the future. But the long-term trend is very clear. In the long-term, it is going to go only up. Okay. So, it is risky, but of course, gives you returns over the long-term. Now, many of you must be wondering, how should I put my money 
uh, into you know fd or what so for a common man friends the best way to put is through mutual funds okay uh, when i ask a lot of people what is mutual funds this is the answer which i get there was an interview in which vishal was asked vishal what do you know about mutual funds so after thinking for 5 minutes vishal says mutual fund investment are subject to market risk please read the offer documents carefully before investing you know poor vishal this is what he has learned uh, by seeing the ads and uh, by seeing the various things but actually if you ask me uh, nowadays thanks to this campaign you are seeing all across ipl and cricket and you know uh, bus billboards planning long term karni ho ya short term thoda thoda karke bhi invest kiya ja sakta hai sirf 500 rupees se shuruaat kar sakte hain emergency mein paisa nikalna aasan hai yani mutual fund sahi hai so from mutual fund are subject to market risk in last 3 years thanks to the campaign it is now mutual fund sahi hai okay and what is a mutual fund so mutual fund is a very simple thing my friends suppose you know we all want to go from bombay to delhi in a plane right can any one of us be able to charter this plane kya hum log khud single ye plane ko charter kar sakte hain not sure right it is very expensive but can we all come and pool tickets hum sab ne 3 4000 rupees ka tickets kharida now we are 200 of us can we now go to uh, delhi again the answer is no because you know uh, because we can't none of us can't uh, fly the plane right so we have to hire a pilot and we have to pay him or her a good salary for that so once the pilot is on board now we are ready to take off we have all reached our destination we all go back home happy the job is done that's exactly a mutual fund is right so we all are investors hum sab ke paas 5000 10000 500 1 lakh 2 lakh 5 lakh rupees hai we don't know where to put our hard earned money so what we do we all pool this money give it to a professional fund manager and over a period of time this fund manager invest in different kind of securities like bonds like equity gold real estate over a period of time these securities would generate return and the return is passed to you this is exactly what is mutual funds right i hope you would have understood this is the simplest definition of mutual fund many of you think mutual fund matlab equity no my friend mutual fund is just a vehicle it can invest anywhere it can invest into stocks in bonds in gold in fixed deposits in properties in commodities it can invest in any asset class it is just a vehicle to put your money there are hundreds different type of mutual funds there are ones which are very safe there are ones which are risky okay so if you want your money to be put in the safe mutual funds stick to the left hand side of the curve where it is very safe money market debt funds okay if you want 6 7% return you will earn by staying on the left hand side if you want high returns 11 12 13% return come to extreme right these are equity funds but high returns means high risk also right so aapko decide karna hai ki aapka risk profile kya hai aapko 6% return chahiye 7% 8% ya 10 12 13% 13% zyada return matlab zyada risk lena padega aur kam return matlab kam risk lena padega so always follow this the other way to look at this is the time frame what time frame if you have if you have shorter time frame like 1 year 2 year 3 year i would recommend you to stick to the left hand side stick to debt funds if you have longer time frame 5 years 6 years 10 years stick to right hand side you know equity funds right this is how you should have your uh, your uh, this thing so agar aapke paas 5 lakh rupees hai you want to buy car in 3 months time i would say put your money in, in something like 01 category but if you have 5 lakh rupees today to plan for your retirement 20 30 years down the line i would say go for number 8 9 10 depending on your risk profile this is how it should be planned for you friends the best way to invest since all of you are young right now is through sip i'm sure many of you are doing sip uh, please type in the chat box uh, friends who are doing sip right now today it's the best way to invest for long term simple intelligent practical you can start with as low as 500 rupees benefit from the power of compounding and it's practical right it's a long journey that begins with a small step why i am requesting all you all of you to do sip friends very simple reason normally hum log kya karte hain we earn money hum log paisa kamate hain we spend money hum log paisa kharcha karte hain and then we save money because we have no control on spending then we have no control on saving okay again in that one idiot movie the husband and wife are fighting for spending to jab wo ye wo log ka spending ka hi kharcha nahi ho raha tha imagine uh, ki wo log kabhi paisa bacha pate shayad nahi and look what one idiot did right he was earning money 
उसने अपना पहला पैसा साइड कर लिया अपने रोल्स रॉयस के लिए और जो बाकी बचता था वो अपने उसने ब्रदर को दे दिया कि जाओ यू नो यू गो एंड वॉच डेविड गोटा शो सो ही वॉज सेविंग फर्स्ट एंड देन ही वॉज एंजॉइंग इट राइट सो वॉर बफेट से डोंट सेव वॉट इज लेफ्ट आफ्टर स्पेंडिंग स्पेंड वॉट इज लेफ्ट आफ्टर सेविंग दिस इज अ वेरी पावरफुल मैसेज एंड इफ यू डू दिस and if you save money for good 15 20 years money has a very funny rule money says first 15 years 20 years you work for me and then for the rest of the life i'll be working for you so it's like growing a mango tree you know you you put you put a seed you keep watering for good 5 10 years aap har din dekhoge ki isme fruit aaya hai ki nahi aaya don't watch it for after 20 years you will get mangoes for the rest of your life right almost like unlimited mangoes shade oxygen everything that's the rule with money same thing if you want to go for a foreign vacation 3 4 years down the line agar 2 3 lakh rupees kharcha hote hain why not start a 5000 rupees sip for that every month january february march april may june july plan your sip to go for a foreign vacation 3 years down the line you want to buy your dream car bmw mercedes and maybe rolls royce why not start another 5000 rupees sip uh, uh, you know every month into a mutual fund january february march april may june july and you can you can have your uh, uh, dream thing so uh, as this is ramdev agarwal who is the chairman of motila loswal he came to bombay with nothing started with 0 crore and today he is more than 1000 crores right this is the power of compounding and he says you too can do it right it's not a rocket science as i told you started with journey in 1987 with nothing 89 mein usne 1 crore rupya dala tha Uh, in three years, in three years, his money became thirty crores, and then Harshad Mehta scam happened. Thirty became ten crores, right? Seventy percent wiped out. But he did nothing. He was a strong person. Then again, ten became hundred. Okay. Then again, Ketan Parikh scam happened in stock market or the tech bubble in two thousand. Hundred became thirty. Again, he was for a long term. He did nothing. He had patience. Thirty became five hundred. Again, global financial crisis happened in two thousand seven. 500 became 225 he did nothing it became 1600 crores right now corona happened 1600 became 1200 he did nothing again some day this 1200 crores will become 2000 crores look at the discipline this guy has look at the patience and the amount of uh, you know uh, vision buy right sit tight is what he says you know buy something right and just sit there this is how you are going to create tons of wealth okay and that's when i was Uh, when i saw this one idiot movie i was very impressed uh, by by this quote from swami vivekananda ji he says take up one idea make that one idea your life think of it dream of it live on that idea let the brain muscles nerves every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone this is the way to success so friends what is my one idea in life this is my one idea in life you know one day to become one idiot and to prove the world to inspire the world that it is possible right ye sirf filmon mein nahi hota hai ye real life mein bhi hota hai and as you can see this is my t-shirt uh, i'm sure you you are able to see this this is the one idiot t-shirt that i always wear it keeps reminding me okay so so this is my identity today and i tell the world i am i'm an idiot follow me and uh, and you will also become one idiot some day so this is the director of the movie amul gupte i met him i met him in the movie i met him after the movie and i told him sir aapne ye real idiot banaya hai one day this real idiot will come to you with my statement of 100 crores rupees aur main aapko dikhaunga ki sir maine karke dikhaya hai and i told him that sir till date i have shown this movie to more than 10000 people across the world uh, many of them are students and they have all loved your wonderful movie he was literally you know like there was tears in his eyes and this is the bugs uncle in that movie the you know the idiot and i met him aur maine bola sir ek din main aapko aapke paas aaunga aur mera statement dikhaunga so this is the inspiration for me but how to become 100 crores right how to go about becoming 100 crores 100 crores is not easy so to do 100 crores and as i told you when i saw the movie i was 30 that one of time 30 की उम्र में मुझे मैंने डिसाइड किया कि मुझे अगले 20 साल में जैसा कि मिस्टर इडियट हैज बिकम 100 क्रोड्स बाय 50 मुझे भी 100 क्रोड्स बन के दिखाना है तो 100 क्रोड का मैंने गेम प्लान बनाया व्हाट इज द गेम प्लान आई हैव टू इन्वेस्ट 4 लाख रुपीस मंथली एसआईपी एंड एवरी ईयर आई हैव टू इंक्रीज माय एसआईपी सो इस साल अगर 4 लाख है 
नेक्स्ट ईयर इंक्रीज बाई टेन परसेंट नेक्स्ट ईयर आई है उसके अगले साल फोर लैख एटी थाउजेंड एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट and i have to do that for 20 years okay 4 lakh is a big amount 20 years is a long period and if i target to earn 15% return then only my friends i will touch 100 crores now you may say kothari sir 15% kahan milta hai right of course it's very difficult to earn this is just my estimation i don't know whether i'll earn 15% i'll get 15% from my investments this is only a target i may get 10% 12% also but i am targeting 15% and let's see whether it will happen or not only time will tell right but at least jo pehla cheez hai sip karna wo mere hath mein hai time mere hath mein nahi hai time mere hath mein hai the only thing which is not in my hand is returns okay so but i'm i'm hopeful that come 50 i will have under crores and this is my journey friends as i told you 10000 i didn't had by the way i didn't had 4 lakh rupees at the age of 30 to begin with per month चार लाख रुपए चार लाख रुपए बहुत बड़ी रकम होती है बट मेरे पास दोस्तों सिर्फ दस हजार रुपए थे टू बिगिन विथ इन ऑगस्ट 2010 आफ्टर सीइंग द मूवी तो दस हजार रुपए से कभी सौ करोड़ बनते हैं क्या तो मैंने बोला यार शुरू तो करते हैं लेट्स स्टार्ट आई स्टार्ट विद टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड एवरी मंथ आई कैप्ट ऑन इंक्रीजिंग एवरी ईयर आई कैप्ट ऑन इंक्रीजिंग टू में मैंने तीन लाख रुपए किए सेवनटीन में चार लाख रुपए किए पांच लाख छह लाख March 2020 was supposed to be seven lakh rupees per month SIP, but if you see today, I'm proud to share my family's SIP is around eight lakhs ninety thousand per month, going from our bank account, investing into various goals. This is the SIP I'm doing. You know why I'm doing this much SIP? Because the first idea, simple but easy to overlook, is that building wealth has little to do with your income, but lots to do with your savings. It's not how much you earn that decides; it's how much you save. if those you know celebrities like cricketers boris becker they were earning lot of money but they were not saving right they were they were spending and then they didn't become so most of my sip is going for my retirement goal okay i told you this is the number one goal uh, you know i have this is the most important goal my other, other sip is going for my rolls royce goal you know i want to buy a rolls royce before i turn 50 okay if you go to google search my name i have I have given an open challenge to the world that I want to buy a Rolls Royce before I turn 50. You know why I want to buy a Rolls Royce? Just because in that movie, that boy was able to buy a Rolls Royce. I was inspired. Okay, I am not a car guy. Okay, I am not a car fan as such. But I said, if he was able to buy a Rolls Royce, I was inspired. Okay, I am not a car fan as such. But I said, if he was able to buy a Rolls Royce, I was inspired. Okay, I am not a car fan as such. But I said, if he was able to buy a Rolls Royce, I was inspired. Okay, I am not a car fan as such. But I said, if he was able to buy a Rolls Royce, I was inspired. Okay, I am not a car fan as such. But I said, if he was able to buy a Rolls Royce, I was inspired. Okay, I am not a car fan as such. But I said, if he was able to buy a Rolls Royce, I was inspired. Okay, I am not a car fan as such. to show the world 100 crores rupees account statement today the car cost 8 crores rupees okay i don't have 8 crore kind of money but this is my road map for rolls royce 8 crore karne ke liye in 15 years i need to put 2 lakh rupees of monthly sip can you see on the right hand side column uh, you know the car would have then become 16 crores 16 crores if i have to achieve in 15 years okay i started this sip goal 5 uh, years back by 50 I have to buy Rolls Royce. This is the SIP I'm doing. So out of eight lakh ninety thousand, there is an SIP which is going for Rolls Royce. So there is one SIP going for my retirement. There is another SIP going for my Rolls Royce. There is third SIP going for my house purchase. Someday I want to buy a house. Right now I'm living on rent, and I'm absolutely fine with living on rent. Uh, you know because uh, that's the smartest decision. I'm also paying for my children's education. I have two children. I'm doing SIP for both my son and daughter. I just would like to share one example what I'm doing for my daughter. my daughter aditi kothari uh, when she was born just like any other parent i had three goals friends uh, uska graduation ka goal uska post graduation ka goal aur uska shaadi ka goal aaj ki date mein agar india mein graduation karate hain the cost is 20 lakhs post graduation is around 30 lakhs and marriage is around 50 lakhs right but when she turn 18 when she turns 18 uh, it will become 55 lakh post graduation would become 1 crore and shaadi would become 3 crores dosto ये पैसा मैं कहां से लाऊंगा 55 लाख 1 करोड़ 3 करोड़ इफ आई डोंट सेव टुडे एंड इफ आई इफ आई इफ आई शेयर इफ आई सेव टुडे एंड यू सी द लास्ट रो मुझे सिर्फ 5000 रुपए 4915 4715 एंड 6900 इज ऑल दैट आई हैव टू पुट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन एंड देन ऑल माय गोल्स विल बी अचीव्ड राइट नाउ लुक एट दिस स्टेटमेंट कैन यू सी द डेट 24th दिसंबर 2010 माय डॉटर अदिति कुठारी वाज बोर्न यू कैन सी हर नेम इन द नॉमिनी and uh, 
I started at ten thousand rupees SIP for my daughter. Okay, ten thousand rupees. Month ke maine dalna chalu kia. Har maine ten thousand rupees mein dalta gaya. Are you able to see two entries in the account statement, fifty thousand and seventy thousand, uh, just below ten thousand? Two entries are lump sum, fifty thousand or seventy thousand rupees. Ye paisa kahan se aaya? Okay. A month later, her naming ceremony was there. Uska uh, namkaran tha. Mere parents or uh, you know my wife's parents side gave them gift, cash gift. I thought this was my daughter's funds. Let me not touch it. Or I have put that money in her name. That day, I put it. Uske alawa, 10-10 thousand rupees I was saving. As you can see, every month I have been putting 10-10 thousand, 10-10 thousand rupees. When Raksha Bandhan comes, she gets 5 thousand rupees. I put that. On her birthday, she gets cash envelopes. I put that money. She goes to any wedding, she gets some money. We put that. Then Diwali, she gets some money. 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 a good uh, auspicious occasion what do parents do they buy gold what i did i invested 21000 rupees on that day akshay tritya people buy gold i put money here and this i have been doing friends for the last 9 years and i'm proud to share with you my daughter turned 9 in december 6 months back aur 10 10000 karte karte today the value has become 21 lakhs 11936 okay in 9 years how बेटी कब बड़ी हो गई माई डॉटर यू नो ग्रू टू बी नाइन नाउ और उसका पैसा कितना हो गया ट्वेंटी वन लैक्स आई स्टिल कैन बिलीव इन एंड यू नो वॉट वेन शी टर्न ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके एट ट्वेल्व परसेंट रिटर्न शी विल गेट अराउंड टू करोड रुपीज फॉर आर हायर एडुकेशन वेदर शी गो टू हार्वर्ड बिजनेस स्कूल शी बिकम एन आंट्रप्रनर और शी ट्रेवल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एज ए पेरेंट आई डोंट टू वरी दस हजार रुपए महीने के उसके लिए मैं अलग कर रहा हूँ फॉर हायर एडुकेशन ओके एंड टेन थाउजेंड आई एम डूइंग for her marriage as well right for 30 years uh, at 12% she'll get another 3 and 1/2 crores again i i'm not a big believer of big fat indian wedding i'm i like very simple affairs this money i would just like to gift her uh, you know on a marriage ki uh, daughter this is your money okay and whatever you want to do with this money you can do it this is my gift to you so so as a parent i would have done my duty right this is the kind of meticulous planning i'm doing for various of my goals so as you would have seen uh, by the way i'm putting all my money uh, my own money into mutual funds okay and because these are long term mutual funds i'm putting my money into equity funds uh, and i would like to quickly show uh, my something uh, very interesting very interesting uh, thing to you okay just and we have 5 minutes we'll we'll kind of you know we are through with this thing but this last slide is very important uh, because the reason why it is important is 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 because of this reason so i'm sure you would have heard of this guy called nasim nicholas talib uh, he is the one who predicted black swan he said never ask anyone for their opinion forecast or recommendation just ask them what they have or don't have in their portfolio okay so he's written the book called skin in the game so this whole session is of no use if i don't tell you where i'm putting my money right so this is my portfolio friends one idiot's portfolio as you can see here and i would like to show you that if you see on the right hand side first chart okay uh, the net amount which uh, that money which i have today invested is around 6 crore rupees okay and currently the balance is around 5 crore 76 lakhs this is the balance if you see the third chart third chart is uh 21st january 2018 third row i invested around 4 crores 18 lakh that has become 6 crore 11 lakh and uh, my per annum return was 23% for good sorry the screen got uh, disconnected so i just wanted to share uh, this thing uh, you are able to see the screen again so this is my this no, is no. my port you're not able to see the screen your screen you, we can't see okay uh, you you're not able are you able to see it now now we can okay yes, so if you yeah if you see my screen today friends this is my entire corpus right now in front of your eyes uh, you know this is the one uh, i have invested over over long uh, over long period of time as you can see here Seven uh, crore is right now showing eight crores. The return is around six percent. Okay, at one point of time, this return was uh, this return was twenty twenty uh, percent. One second, one second. I'm just again kind of sharing that screen to you. This is 
yeah so now you are able to see i think the full screen at one point of time my return was 23% on march 23rd on march 23rd if you see the last last column it came to minus 7% मतलब दो करोड़ प्रॉफिट था दो साल पहले और आज माइनस वन करोड़ नीचे आ गया था एंड एज वी स्पीक टुडे एज आई स्पीक टू यू टुडे माय पोर्टफोलियो वैल्यू इज जस्ट अराउंड एट करोड़ टुडे एंड माय रिटर्न इज ओनली सिक्स परसेंट ओके दिस इट कैन बी सो वॉलेटाइल बट माय माय मेन गोल इज टुडे आई एम एट ओनली एट ऑफ दैट गोल वन डे आई टू रीच हंड्रेड करोड़ इन नेक्स्ट टेन ईयर्स माय टारगेट इज टू टच हंड्रेड करोड़ कम वॉट में दुनिया इधर की उधर हो जाए बट मुझे मेरा गोल मुझे कंप्लीट करना है यू नो दैट मच हाउ आई एम फोकस्ड ओके सो दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर माई स्टोरी विथ यू एंड फाइनली फाइनली आई एम काइंड ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट डन विथ थिंग सो सम होमवर्क फॉर यू माई फ्रेंड्स बिफोर वी जस्ट साइन ऑफ एंड वी टेक क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्लीज थैंक द पर्सन हु आई सजेस्ट यू टू अटेंड दिस सो इन दिस केस आई वुड लाइक all of you students to thank your professors uh, professor uh, you know uh, the principal madam uh, miss bagla professor justin professor padi uh, for you know you please thank them because they have helped you invest your time in knowledge my request to you is that watch one idiot again and again and again show it to your friends relatives and family members i have seen this movie 100 time every time i see it i get hugely inspired uh we'll be sharing this presentation with you uh, sir uh, you know we'll be sharing this presentation to you i would request you if you can share this presentation to the student with the students and if these students can share this presentation with their friends and their family members and learn in the process i think you know i i i have always believe anything good thing should be shared you know knowledge is free it should be shared build your knowledge That's base by agreed. following build your knowledge base by following investment blogs today thanks to internet you know uh, knowledge is democratized sitting at home you can follow the best uh, blogs in the world youtube videos okay attend more and more such sessions online try to be a part of investment fraternity it will be a lot of fun discuss some of these ideas with your parents this is my important suggestion today you are all above 18 you all become major okay right so so why don't now you take charge of your money go and discuss this with your parents ho sakta hai ki aapke parents को भी शायद ये सब चीजें पता नहीं हो एंड टुडे यू कैन एनलाइटन देम वॉट एवर यू लर्न वो लोग शायद आज भी वो मिस्टेक्स कर रहे हैं एंड दे बी प्राउड ऑफ यू की माई चिल्ड्रेन आर रियली लर्निंग सम अमेजिंग स्टफ ओके स्टार्ट गेटिंग इन टू डिस्कशन इन योर फैमिली फाइनेंशियल यू शुड बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ योर फैमिली फाइनेंशियल डिस्कशन मेक योर ओन बजट टेक अ मंथली अमाउंट फ्रॉम योर पेरेंट्स एंड मैनेज योर ओन मनी ओके चाहे वो पांच सौ रुपए हो चाहे हजार रुपए हो चाहे पांच हजार रुपए हो manage your own money start your own portfolio get the feel of it open your own bank account after 18 you can manage your own bank account aap khud ja ke apna account khol sakte ho have your own debit card okay start your own sip and track it on a regular basis sip start karna bahut easy hai by minimum 100 rupees 500 rupees you can start your own sip and i would also encourage you to open a dmat account okay and with 5000 2000 3000 buy quality shares like hindustan unilever you know tata motors or when you are buying shares try to understand why you want to buy this company why you want to own this company read research reports annual reports okay then do it and then inspire others rather than discussing about this event that event idhar udhar ki hum baatein karte hain time pass karte hain if you start discussing this quality stuff i think you know your time will be well spent uh, there is this amazing videos on youtube called warren buffett's secret millionaire club i would encourage all of you to become members of this secret millionaires club there are some amazing videos uh, on how to run a business uh, you know you should watch this there are plenty of these videos uh, and finally finally uh, you know you know the most important thing even even important than wealth is my friends is health actually unfortunately as teenagers as youth hum log dhyan nahi dete hain we are in a world where we are swear by fast food junk food and uh, and because we are college students hum log se bahar jate hain khate hain i'm not saying ki mat khao but you know i don't want you to you know become one day like this okay again we have to be very uh, you know uh, mindful of this ek din agar hum paisa kama bhi lenge but agar hum if you are not able to keep the real wealth okay and i i don't have to tell about this person this person has earned lot of wealth but aaj jab unka interview aata tha wo bolta hai ki kaash maine apne health ka bhi utna hi dhyan rakha hota 
then this money would have been well spent, right? What is the point of earning wealth if you're not able to use it? Warren Buffett today, uh, you know, we all swear by him because at 90, he's still strong, right? So, and I, even after creating 100 crores, uh, I'm very clear that I don't want to give this money to children. Uh, you know, Warren Buffett says, if you're in the luckiest 1% of humanity, you owe it to the rest of humanity to think about the other 99%. Uh, today, you're able to study in this wonderful college, KC College, because somebody thought of starting this 50, 100 years back, the trust, you know, and that's why you're getting this education at much uh, accessible rate. So tomorrow I want to donate, uh, you know, share, the, I want to give on a charity philanthropy. I don't want to give my children, I think they will have to earn their own, uh, you know, they will have to prove their own one idiot, right? That's the idea. I'm, my parents gave me wonderful education and I'm really grateful to them. And thanks to their values today, uh, you know, I'm able to think of becoming one idiot. My same inspiration to you is that you should tomorrow become one idiot yourself rather than here if parents say paisa aajayega and I'll be able to do it, prove your own worth. And finally, I started my uh, presentation with a currency note. If you would remember, I would like to end my session with a currency note again. Not he who has much is rich, but he who gives much. So uh, with that, thank you so much. Uh, I would like to get uh, uh, you know honest uh, feedback from you. I've already crossed two hours of mine, and I told Professor Justin that sir, my session is always long. Uh, in real life, this session runs for six hours, eight hours. But uh, you know, we, we had to close it. I had a lot more things to share, but I have to I have to run like fast local train. But you know, maybe someday we can have a more detailed session. And finally, if you have any queries, you can always write to me. Uh, you know, gajendra at oneidiot.in. Okay. You can visit the website www.oneidiot.in. Uh, I've just started this one idiot website, oneidiot.in, to have meaningful conversations around money, to simplify personal finance to most of you because we find it very complex, and to inspire and encourage you to also take this plunge to become one idiot someday. So with that, I leave the floor open, Professor. Uh, you know, if uh, participants may have any questions, they would like to ask questions. I'm more than happy to take questions. I'm not in a hurry, but uh, but I leave the floor to you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Pratiksha, over to you. Yes. Uh, participants, if you have any questions, uh, please type your questions in chat. Uh, by the time, uh, whatever questions were uh, posted earlier, I'll take those questions. And uh, thank you so much, Kothari, sir. Uh, it was a really very interesting and informative session. Uh, one more thing wanted us to share your pres uh, presentation with all the students. Uh, we, uh, we are live on YouTube. So this YouTube link will be there forever. So anytime anybody can visit the link and uh, watch the entire presentation, I mean, entire uh, session which uh, we conduct you conducted uh, today. So I'll take some of the questions which uh, were already posted by the students. Uh, one of the sure. students has asked where to save, whether in banks or somewhere else. So, uh, Pratiksha, madam, answer is very simple. Uh, you know, uh, somebody may at least start with a bank, you know, because bank is the safest way. At least, you know, by starting in a bank, uh, you can do recurring deposit. Uh, the only problem with bank is, of course, you'll only earn 5-6% kind of return. If you have a longer term time horizon, you know, then uh, I would recommend you can do SIPs also uh, in various equity funds. There you can maybe expect 9, 10, 11% return. But of course, uh, the more returns you expect, the high risk you have to take. When I say risk, uh, I mean in the short term, your money can go up and down. But if you give 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, then of course you will see uh, a decent returns on your portfolio. So, so the idea is uh, you have plenty of options. It all depends each uh, you know, person's risk profile. Uh, you know, if you don't want to take risk, stick to bank FDs. But if you want higher growth, uh, then you will have to go for other investments. Okay. Uh, one person is asking where to gather the knowledge for such investments. From where to gather the knowledge? Uh, so there are amazing, uh, you know, as I told you, Google is today the, the biggest university. YouTube is the biggest university. Uh, there is one uh, amazing, uh, uh, you know, there are a few videos like Parag Parekh. If you just Google uh, him, Parag Parekh uh, videos, he, he has a full session on, on investing. And that's a must for all students. Or YouTube one will lead to you to another and another. Twitter is another a very a wonderful medium where you can learn a lot, lot of uh, good in, uh, understanding about investing. So, so today everything is free of cost, my friend. Like this session was free of cost for you, right? All you need was a will to attend this and you know uh, two hours of investment. So there are plenty of things. When you go to net, you'll find a lot of things sitting at your home. Okay. 
sir another question is uh, whether rd is beneficial as compared to fd so uh, uh, pratiksha madam again fd and rd are one and the same fd uh, when people do it is a lump sum investment you are investing one sum one one time 1 lakh rupees or 2 lakh in rd it is like an sip you are doing every month maybe 5000 rupees in fixed deposits over a period of time so somebody who is a salaried person doesn't want to take risk rd is a better option uh so one more question uh, whether the real estate is meaningful investment in today's era so again uh, i have two views uh, of course real estate is also an asset class uh, you know it's one of the asset class always remember friends all asset classes go through cycles matlab every asset class has their up time and and down cycle right right now as we see real estate for the last 5 years is in a down cycle so from today uh, today's view point yes it can make good sense to invest in real estate but the only problem with real estate is that you need to have much longer time horizon 5 10 years to hold uh, the property and then in good times if you can sell you will make lot of money the problem in real estate in our country in more so in mumbai is that the ticket size is so big you know at least 1 crore 2 crore rupees chahiye which many people don't have personally i am not a big believer of real estate uh, personally that's why i told you i stay on rent i don't mind paying rentals because the rent is much cheaper than uh, paying emi and uh, i believe uh, you know other investments like equity over the period of time can give better return than real estate but this is my own opinion and i may be biased uh, okay so so you should find your comfort factor and then uh, decide on your investments is my suggestion um sir i think uh, at 130 we have another uh, meeting scheduled on the same platform so i'll take another two questions and then i'll hand it over to uh, uh, sure if, sure if you don't mind i'll uh, we will send all these questions to you by mail and you can answer yeah 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 i'll i can answer that i, I absolutely no I problem there is ha uh, sir has shared his email id as well as well as mobile number uh, being shared Correct. so uh, students uh, if you want you can directly uh, mail it to sir and sir will answer your questions i'll just take one or two more questions then we'll uh, hand it over to uh, kulvinder ma'am how to sure. save if there is uncertainty in the income so again uh, then uh, if there is uncertainty in the income then i would suggest to have a very small amount of sip you know uh, don't commit yourself today like i am doing 9 lakh rupees of sip because i'm i'm aur maine uh, madam last the last 10 saal mein kabhi bhi sip todi nahi hai you know i've never uh, chahe mujhe Uh, kam kharcha karna pade but i would like to stick to this discipline so but again to each one on his own but ek minimum sip you should have 1000 2000 so that check kuch bhi ho jaye this discipline you don't want to break but apart from that if you if you don't have regular income then you can go for lump sum investing you, everybody doesn't have to do sip only sip is for meant for people who have regular income if you are a business person if you don't have regular income jab bhi aapke paas income aaye you can invest lump sum 1 lakh 2 lakh you know 50000 that is also equally fine i hope i have answered this uh sir one last question which H sip is the best okay <laughs> so uh, you know uh, uh, i would like to i would like to tell this audience uh, ki you know friends it is not whether this okay, sip or that is yeah please sir. hello sir. yeah yeah please sir okay. i just modify, modify this question a little bit rather than saying that can we answer like what is the criteria then one has to see to to make a choice you know how do they choose in the, uh, select an sip what should be the criteria imperatives so on yes. say a little bit i don't think uh, like uh, which one then it becomes uh, the onus is on you so <laughs> choose one and say okay it is rather like according to the student as you said or everybody to his own so people have their own requirements based based on that how can suitable one for answer yeah very good question professor Please. padi very good question uh, so i can give you a very simple answer friends the simplest sip in equity particularly in equity you know if your time horizon is long term you can do your sip in index fund okay index fund is nothing but you are you are doing your sip in sensex or nifty which comprises of standard 30 stocks or 50 stocks wahan pe apne ko dimag bhi lagane ka zarurat nahi hai सब म्यूचुअल फंड के पास इंडेक्स फंड है यू नो आप ब्लाइंडली किसी भी इंडेक्स फंड में डाल सकते हैं तो आपको चिंता करने की जरूरत नहीं है दिस इज द मोस्ट सिंपलेस्ट आंसर बट इफ यू वांट टू अर्न लिटिल हायर रिटर्न इन द इंडेक्स ओके एंड यू नो यू वांट टू गो फॉर एक्टिव एसआईपीस देन ऑफ कोर्स द गेम बिकम्स फार मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिकॉज़ देयर आर 100 एक्टिव फंड्स इन द कंट्री यू नो एचडीएफसी म्यूचुअल फंड का फंड है आईसीआईसीआई का फंड है सबका अपना अपना फंड है राइट एंड एवरीबॉडी वुड से माय फंड इज द बेस्ट 
the best way to search is do some homework uh, you know uh, choose the funds uh, which has a longer term track record jiska 10 saal 15 saal 20 saal ka track record hai fund manager ka you see his performance over a long period of time you see his portfolio ki uska portfolio kaisa hai is he investing to nice stable companies okay so it's not that easy but it will require some time but it's not rocket science also okay so agar aap teen char cheez variable dhyan rakhenge ki us fund mein cost kitna hai okay wo risk kitna leta hai consistency kaisa raha hai long term track record kya raha hai agar aap ye basis pe if you compare four five funds i'm sure you will get uh, you know some some options with you the problem hota kya hai padi sir you know many people invest for one year two year if the funds doesn't do well they get out then again they chase performance they will chase something which is done immediately well and we keep on changing the ship you know that is where we commit the biggest mistake i didn't had time to show my entire portfolio otherwise i would have taken uh, you know all of you to through my portfolio sir maine 8 8 10 10 saal se sip change nahi kiya hai maine mere 5 saal ka sip return is minus 5% and still i have continued you know so because i know ki in the long term i'll create wealth but many people today uh, you know they don't have patience they will wait for 6 months if it is not giving return they will try to change from one fund to another so when you are investing in funds at least minimum have 3 years 5 years time horizon before you even uh, you know uh, do any anything in the portfolio i think that's my long answer fabulous answer sir pratisha madam thank you so much sir uh, so uh, let us invite kulvinder ma'am for formal vote of thanks now sir we'll mail you the questions also the students will mail their questions directly to you uh, thank you so sure. much uh, sir sure thank you pratiksha it gives me immense pleasure in proposing vote of thanks this afternoon at the outset i would like to express sincere gratitude to mr gajendra kothari for deep insights into the world of managing finance sir so really appreciate the way you use the quotes examples case studies illustrations videos to make the whole experience memorable i would also like to thank our principal ma'am for motivating us in all our endeavors thanking our vice principals for supporting us in all our events special thanks to my colleagues and heads in the department of commerce and accounts padi sir justin sir and pratiksha for being a wonderful technical support the smooth flow of the webinar would not have been possible without the technical team roshan and last but never the least thanks to all of you for being a wonderful audience we would like to have you all for our future endeavors for more such insightful experiences take care and stay safe so thank you sir thank you yeah so i'll, I'll now disconnect the call, call yeah yeah thank yeah. you very, thank you very much sir thank you thank you, thank you all most most welcome sir most wonderful welcome, wonderful sir. occasion thank you sir thank you thank, thank you, you so much sir i must learn so much Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for for having me. Uh, it was a real pleasure to connecting with all of you and the students. I hope they enjoyed the session. Yeah, yes, definitely. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, shall I end the?